Safety Agency Emergency Response Center has been activated from 4 p.m. this afternoon and shall be domiciled at Nyao House to monitor what is happening across the country and initiate immediate interventions to save lives and property. All internally displaced persons will be facilitated to fight alternative settlement. In extreme cases, the National Youth Service will provide shelter to the most vulnerable members of our society. We request the people of Kenya to cooperate in this exercise for their own safety and those of their families. The affected households will be provided with foods and non-food items. Again, I will tomorrow chair a committee on national disaster response, incorporating all stakeholders, including our development partners and humanitarian agencies. The outlook for the next week indicates that the country will receive above normal rainfall across the country. In that regard, all members of the public are asked to exercise caution while traveling and where they are in low lands to move to higher grounds. On a daily basis, daily alerts will be issued to the people of Kenya to inform them of what is happening in areas where there is obvious danger and to appeal to them to cooperate with government agencies and other partners so that we save lives and livelihoods. In conclusion, we appeal to the people of Kenya as government intervenes to also take responsibility of their own safety. Kenyans are requested to be careful and not to their nature because it is dangerous to do so. The government, under the leadership of President William Ruto, will do whatever it takes, will apply all the required resources in terms of money and personnel to make sure that lives are not lost and the people of Kenya are protected from this disaster. Thank you very much.